Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Google Chrome and or Vivaldi, then just to let you know that the weekly security updates have arrived for both browsers and basically rolled out the same time for both Chrome and Vivaldi. Now, if you are using Vivaldi, you just head up to your main menu, help check for updates, and this will update the browser automatically if it hasn't done so already. And then if we head to the about page, which by the way has been updated with the latest version 7.7 .7 release, which I posted on a couple of days ago. I'll leave that video for that version upgrade link down below and in the end screen. So for Vivaldi, the browser version in bold is 7.7.3851.52, Chromium platform 142.0.7444.180. And if we head over to Google Chrome, very similar process, main menu help about Google Chrome, 142.0.7444.175 or 0.176. For Google Chrome, if you are running the browser on Windows, Mac or Linux, both, both those point releases on those different platforms means your browser is fully patched running version 142. Now just to focus on the security fixes that have rolled out, we get two high severity flaws that have been patched. Both are listed as type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine, but Google says it is aware that an exploit for CVE 2025-13223 exists in the wild. So that's a zero day that's already out there, current and happening, and it's active. So this is a very important security update, patching a zero day exploited in the wild. So just double check. Both browsers, if you are using them, are up to date sooner than later. Now, just to give you a quick recap as to what a type confusion vulnerability is all about with this zero day that has been patched. It can arise when a program attempts to access a resource with an incompatible type. And it can have serious impacts as it allows threat actors to perform out-of-bounds memory access, cause a crash and execute arbitrary code. So that's just a very brief overview as to what a type confusion vulnerability is all about. So just double check your browsers up to date sooner than later. And while we are talking about updates for Google Chrome, if we head to our calendar, we are expecting Chrome version 143, which is going to be our next stable release to start rolling out. I would say either next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. So if you are using Google Chrome, that might be something to look out for. And if you are asking the question, does the workaround to activate uBlock Origin still work and other MV2 extensions still work after this point release has been applied? Yes, it does. I did notice though on this device, the Windows 10 device, not on my Windows 11, but on my Windows 10 device after applying the update, that I had to restart the browser again after I had applied the update to get the toggle to be able to turn on and off with developer mode turned on but nonetheless that workaround as far as I'm aware still works. So that's Google Chrome out of the way. Now heading to Vivaldi because over and above the security fixes that have rolled out for Vivaldi we also get some crash fixes and some bug fixes and there's a bit of a, an improvement on the about page which as mentioned was updated with the version 7.7 .7 release. So if you head to the about page now, you will see now it shows checking update during the update check. Yeah, at the top, checking for update, which I think is a nice touch. So that's a nice little UI interface tweak and adjustment. And I really enjoy this new about page look. And then we get one, two, three, four crash fixes that have rolled out. The first is... It was crashing occasionally on window activation. If you are using the browser on Mac OS, there are two crash fixes for Mac OS. The first is when you were typing certain words in the address field, it could crash. And it could also crash on closing a tab while autofill bubble is visible. So those are two crash fixes for Mac OS. A crash fix for VPNs when installing a VPN in a private window. So four crash fixes so those are important and then there's a bug fix for saving browsing history that didn't work and there's a start page bookmarks fix where the widget on the start page 
it was showing a folder selector on every restart. And there's also another bug fix taking place under the hood for start page widgets as well. So two bug fixes for widgets on the start page. So quite an important update for both browsers. Patching a zero day for the Chromium platform. And obviously for Vivaldi, we get those different fixes and crash fixes as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.